This lesson, we're gonna talk about Excel's find and replace utility. Now this is a really good tool to help you fix data in tables that might be messed up or you've got some bad formatting or you got the wrong words in there or something. So it's pretty straightforward, but we'll go through a couple options in there just so you get familiar with how to use it. So we should be on the find and replace tab and let's just look at our data. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and then I'm gonna put an auto filter on there. So I'm working with our New York Bakery data set again. Let's look at the uh, locations in the dropdown. Now we've got Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and Quens. Quens is wrong, so we're gonna have to fix that. So let's use the find and replace to find it and then fix those. So to get to that, I'm gonna do Control F. That's how we pull up find and replace, and I'll move it over here. And in the beginning, we just start off on find, and what we wanna do is just type in what we're looking for. Q-U-E-N-S, the misspelled word there. So then I can go down here and click Find Next, and it'll take me right to the first occurrence of what I was looking for. So from here, now I can pull up the Replace tab, which just puts a line underneath to what I wanna replace it with, Q-U-E-E-N-S. And I'll hit Replace. Now that'll do it one at a time and it'll automatically go to the next one every time you hit replace. Or I can just do them all by hitting replace all. And in this example, it wasn't that big of a deal to do all of them, but think about if you had a table that had tens or hundreds or even thousands of rows. This could be really, really helpful. Okay, a couple other things to show you about find and replace. Um, let's go back to find. So I'm gonna look for cookies. And right now when I type cookies, it'll find the next one. But there's a checkbox here that says match case. And what that means is it wants to match the upper and lower case of the word you're looking for with what's in your table. So if I click that, Excel won't find another occurrence of cookies because they're all in kind of a mixed case. And then we have a match entire content. So if I wanted to look for whoopie pies, I could look for whoopie and it would find that. But if I want to match the entire cell, it won't find that because there's nothing that just says whoopee. So again, just a couple simple little options. A couple more things and then we'll wrap this up here. So another thing that I've done is I accidentally bolded a lot of cells in this table and I need to get them fixed. So instead of going back and just looking for them, you can use find and replace to look for formatting. So let's get rid of whoopee. And let's go over here on the find to set a format. And we want to go to the font tab and we want to look for cells that are bold and click OK and go to the find next. And there it is, it found it. So now we can do a replace also. So the first thing we have to do is get rid of what's in here. We don't want to replace the word at all. And then we'll go over to format and we're on font, we need this to be formatted as regular. Can't just take it off of there, because then it won't find anything, but we want it to be regular. And now let's click OK. And let's find next, found it, and replace it. And see it's replacing all the cells we made bold. Let's replace all of them. Done, super simple. Okay, the very last thing we're gonna do is show you how you can find colors too. So let's just say that we had the cell is highlighted in yellow. And we want to find that and change it to nothing again. So we can go back to our find what, go to the format tab. And for font style, we need it to be regular. And then for fill, it's going to be yellow. Click OK. And then we'll find next, find the next one. We want to fix that now. So let's go to format. And for the fill, we want no color. Click OK. Do one or two of those and then let her rip and it fixes all of them. So that's it. It's a pretty simple little utility, but it'll help you clean up your data as you're getting ready to make charts and tables and pivot tables. And uh, that's it. Let's get ready for the next lesson.